Hello, everyone. Welcome back to an episode of Islanders. <clears throat> Looking here at the city we just built, it seems kind of like, I don't know, like the whole thing was just this, right? All this other stuff I did up here, most of it didn't matter very much. None of the planning really did anything. I just put houses next to each other. Seems a little lame, doesn't it? I don't know. Let's try not to do that on the next island. Yep, start an expedition. statue down. That's a new one. I get three statues. Whoa. Yeah, the statues just, like, get points for being placed down and lose points for being near other statues. Fine. Um, I mean, this sort of seems promising, right? It's a big commanding position, but... statues, because putting it in the center kind of breaks up the, like, well, I don't know, it's probably fine. I think, like, it makes it a little bit harder to put, like, down a city center and then the town around it, but you can still totally do that. Yeah, let's just pop one down right there. Ah, we only have to place two before we get more stuff, so I can decide later. That's nice. the other one like here by the gold mine not because it's near the gold mine but just like because it's in the center of an area and we can get more stuff next to it. brick industry brickyard and sand pit or lumber ah so sand pit you place on this sand i guess um we do have some good lumber here and here but there's a lot of this whole sand area that we've never really been able to use before, and I think having something that wants to be built there will save us a lot of space if we pick it up early. So a brickyard wants to be near sand pits, and a sand pit wants to be near brickyards. Sure, makes sense. And it has to be built on sand. Other than that, it doesn't really care. Uh, we can even, that's nice, get it next to um, the statue here, just barely. Oh, what order does it want me to put these things down? Four for being near sand pit. Three, yeah, so we want to do it in this order. And I think we can get, like, well, how big an area does this? Oh, not very. Okay. So... Planning to put it about here. I mean, they don't have a ton of space for this stuff, huh? It's actually hard to get an overlap. Put it here. It's it's worth slightly fewer points to put this down first, but then if I do, I the, the math is a lot easier. So I'll put this down. Not the math so much as the geometry. Oh, am I touching a statue up here? Why is this worth more? Oh, maybe I was, I was too close to this one, I guess. When I was elsewhere. Okay. Well, let's try to tuck this as far away as we can. placing this first to make it easier to calculate where the bubbles overlap because this thing gives you more points for touching but has a smaller bubble 
these guys give you one less point, but I have a larger bubble, so you can, like... I, I couldn't have done this if I placed it in the other order. I think I might not even have been able to get all four of them touching, so this might, might have been actually perfectly reasonable. Um, and then in the meantime, I can, like, put this here. Uh, but maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll get more, uh... Well, no, there won't be anything else that would touch this, right? Because then it would uh, overlap with one of the other one of these wheel dudes. So, sure. I'll just uh, plop this down right here. Um, I guess I should be putting down the statue first, huh? Well, I should put down the statue in some place that I plan to drop a lot of stuff. Um, which maybe here would have been a good place. Probably would have, in fact. But, um... In particular, the statue doesn't get bonuses for being near anything else, so it really is, like, the most asymmetric building. Alright, well, let's get started on, um, these guys. Maybe I got a little ahead of myself. I unlocked like two whole things. I maybe should have waited. But uh... all right, the city pack will be nice to start building a big city up here. I think. And um... masonry. Do I have like a big old rocky area? Or can you put mason stuff on uh, beaches? I don't have much of a good space for masonry. Whereas like these little outcroppings here seem pretty okay for. city center in this area. I'd like to leave the, some space around the gold mine to someday build a... Uh... Actually, let's put my city center up here. I'm not sure which area is larger. They look similar? This one might even be larger, although it's hard to tell. But this one's kind of got a lot of other stuff going on. Whereas here, I can sort of focus more on just city stuff. Sure, give me more things. Uh, farming, sure. Fourteen is still pretty all right. I, I can get fifteen just down here though, and then I have a good spot for a future. Um, sawmill. Okay, well, let's put down some more mansions. Try to saturate this area. I 
I guess in principle, maybe I should have tried to keep it closer to the gold so I could one day put down the jewelry. Hmm. Look at these two nestled together like Tetris blocks. several areas with a lot of flowers, and I, there's not a lot of good masonry going on. Right? Like, that's a ton of points. Even if there's only one place to put it all. And there's not. There's another heater. Wow, shamans are great today. Another heater. One great shaman area, um, but there was an even better one in here somewhere. Yeah, this 42 looks like the best I'm getting. Look at those points go. Um, and I guess. Start on farming, I suppose. Down near where we put this statue. What are it wants me to do the the fields first, right? Yeah. I can't get the fields next to this thing, which is kind of a bummer. I guess I forgot about the elevation issue. Like, eh, I can do this. Is there room for two fields this way? It seems like there is, just barely. Um. This gets me like five extra points, so if it makes me miss a couple of field adjacency bonuses, it's worth it. If it makes me miss a lot, it's not worth it. Right now I have four fields, huh? So... Yeah, let's just put them down here. Well, if it's not touching the statue, maybe that's just not the right place to start. But I don't see any other good areas, really, here. This is alright, I guess. Makes use of this area, which really doesn't have much other value right now. Saves the area near the statue for, I don't know, nothing's ever gonna use this. well wait until we have more fields right or we need to cash in the points um, since you get the best bonus from putting down the mill as late as possible and it, it's easy to plan around because the mill has such a gigantic area right we can put it anywhere and still touch a bunch of stuff Fisher I don't know I still just don't this island doesn't seem that great for masonry this area is okay, but they're so close together that you can't... Mason's had a pretty large area, I thought. Can I build out here? I bet I can. Looks like I can. Maybe there's just a bunch of isolated spots for Mason's, but I'm never going to get any synergy for them. There's really just this, and that's too close, so I don't know. I'm taking the fisher. up and now I want to put a sawmill there instead. This is 18, really? That's pretty great. Considering that that area already has a lumberjack 
making it. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go for that. Where's my 18? Here. What is it that's making the, the five difference? Ah, it's touching the next lumberjack, I think. No. Oh, it's touching the sawmill. I see. This is touching both sawmills. Very good. Statues and the city center. That's good. Maybe you should have put down another city center first, huh? city center here. That should have been the one with all the mansions. This should have been the one with houses. Hmm. Well, where else do I put houses? I mean, I can build it here, but I can't build... Can I build houses there? I can. Maybe that's not so bad. like an alright place for a bunch of houses. I get I could actually put it in here. There's a bunch of space here I'm not using for much of anything. I'm planning to put a warehouse in, but that's about all really, right? And this is a big sprawling area to get houses next to each other, right? Yeah, let's give that a try. Um I want the warehouse like I don't know, warehouses had a pretty big range as I recall, so it could even fit up here or something. Still don't love Mason, but also Fountain is not great. I don't know, I mean, I guess it could touch a bunch of mansions. getting a lot. Right? Actually, maybe it is getting all of them. It actually is getting all the ones I have so far, and that's pretty nice. Okay, well, let's expand our farming area now. Is that one a different color? Why? hop fields and it likes breweries, right? So it should be just sort of clustered around here. Actually, let's put it up against the edge of the water so it takes up the least useful space. A hut. Sure. Huts are nice and flexible. I have a second mill now. 
Where's my farm? Here it is. So we can do something like, you know, a mill here and a mill here or something, right? And they still won't touch each other, which is nice. Again, we'd like to hang hold off on actually placing the mills until we get the most value out of them, but that's sort of the idea. Like one mill at each. This mill actually right here is amazing because it gets this entire farming area. This one only gets like half of it, but honestly, we're not likely to fill up that much more. All right, let's get more mansions in. Statues, the city center, and the fisher. Good work, buddy. Mm, looks like we might have to cash in a, a mill. No, I think we can just build houses somewhere, right? Where did I put my other city center? Down here? Yeah. So just start building houses around this and hope for the best, basically. Place as few of these as possible and, and remain flexible and like, ooh, park. Wow. Parks love trees and houses. I haven't really built. Well, they love mansions too. Up here, a park might do okay. And yeah, there's a bunch of trees here. But they hate like sawmills and lumberjacks. So maybe not. Um, oh, this field actually also, right? They like fields? They're okay with fields. Yeah, this is a good place for a farm. Or a park. We, we left conveniently this little strip of unfarmable land to turn it into a park. It was all planned. Honestly, like, <laughs> why would I bother trying to put a park up? Actually, this is even also great. Maybe this would have been better. <laughs> Alright, sure. get like sort of fewer points maybe for no this is fine no no they keep 
keep offering me masons. Oh, masons like brickyards. I didn't notice. And city centers. Okay, yeah, if I can build a mason on any of this stuff, it should be okay. Although I don't know if I can. I can, yeah, I can just build masons. No, I can't. These rocks do not allow masonry. farm. It's barely something in there. And at this point, like, I'm still thinking a mill, say, up here? Or down here or something. But I kind of like up here because it means I can put a mill around here without conflicting at all. Right? So there's sort of still room for this entire corridor to expand indefinitely. I have another park. Okay, I can get 18 down there, but it actually seems better up here. Do parks like parks, by the way? They seem indifferent about parks. There's, there's 18 up here. It's not nothing. Better than giving it to the peasants, though. Gotta give rich people parts. Um, yeah. I mean, I can get 18 pretty much up here quite easily, and I can't do better than that. Down here, I also get 18. But up here, I also like increased property values for future mansions, whereas I don't think fields care much about parks. Although I could be wrong. It doesn't even really increase property values that much, though, because these guys are also happy to live next to each other. But this is kind of a smaller... It takes up less space than a mansion, which means you can be closer to more of them, even if it only worth, is only worth the same number of points. You can be this is slightly better, I guess. Oh, also, it likes trees. Yeah, that's why, that's why it appears again. Shaman. When did I get shamans? I don't remember this. Um, wait, there's like a fort or something up in there. Yes, yeah, so there's one here that's like 33. And I put one down somewhere. Over here? Yes. So this area is just worse than that now. This area is still no good. This area's alright, you can get like low 20s, low to mid 20s. This area's fine, but here seems like the standout, right? 33 in a number of ways. Put more mansions in. get to that statue at all, huh? Oh, fair enough. I have another city center. Goodness. Over here, maybe, someday? Try to double up in this area? that they're not touching each other, but all the houses could be next to two of them. No, houses have a much smaller radius. The doubling up is not going to be meaningful. Um, but what I could do... Oh. City centers want to be placed down near industry, and then you place houses near them. Interesting. So this is actually an OK 
okay spot, but it's really hard to build around, obviously. Whereas this is quite promising. Worth a lot of points. And, um... I thought I saw a 29 in here. Was I just imagining it's always 20? I guess so. Um, and, and not, like, too hard to build a city around someday. Tower? I like towers. I still don't understand plateaus. Because the tower wants to be placed after all the houses, right? I guess it doesn't really care. No, it wants to be placed before. Uh, well, no, it has a much larger area, so you get more per house, but if you place the houses second, but you get a lot more houses if you place the tower second. So, I think I'll just continue growing this area. Where can I place another sand pit? Nothing that great in here, right? I kind of used up all the good spots. It's like the first time I've clicked someplace when it was red and I just heard this sound. Cool sound. Alright, there's the warehouse I was kind of looking for someday. Like, a warehouse in here fits pretty well, I think. Not as well as I thought. I guess it doesn't care about breweries? No, it does. It's just hard for me to read the yellow text, that's all. Um, it's just hard for it to be near multiple things, I guess. Um, well, what about up here where I have all these, like, sawmills? Reasonable. Terrible up here, obviously. Better than I would have guessed here. It's picking up the fisher, actually. That's obviously taking up important farming land. Uh, this is probably not too bad. We don't. I don't expect the farms to get that much all the way down here before I have to end the level. Sure.
It's a very nice looking town. A lot of parks. Circus! Finally, one that I can place around houses. I didn't completely fill in my air housing area. Alright. Yeah, look at that. What a circus. Even better. And I can build kind of around the circus, because, like, a circus gets four points for a house. But a house gets three points for a circus. So, in principle, you'd like to build the circus first. Sorry, the houses first. But it's hard to, like, leave space for exactly a circus. Right, again, if there were a grid, I, I would feel better about making decisions like that. Here, it just feels like, yeah, let's put down a couple more houses and put it in the circus. center both statues the fisher I guess you can, oh, I only see how you get 11 from this ah you get f like three for placing it next to nothing or four okay and I'm losing one for that mason over there I'm not sure where I'm getting the back to be at 15 instead of 14. Maybe there's another fisher I can't see or something? I don't know. It doesn't super matter. There's not. That's a good place for us. Oh, maybe the tower. I just need those. There's that gold mine I wanted. It's kind of a bummer that there's no mansions down here, but I can build one someday. this to optimize. Although I kind of wanted mansions by the gold mine. I guess whatever. Either way is good. That should be a fine spot for the circus. Ooh, 
a look at them points. A market. Market likes houses and it likes a warehouse. It likes masons, it likes fishers. I have all of those things in large supply right here. Not as many points as I would have thought, though. 22 is fine. Let's plop down another house. And a fisher. Market area, which is very nice. Oh, another shaman. Um, I think there was one more good flowery area. I mean, honestly, this place is still worth 20. Like, even if they have to compete with each other, it's still a good deal. But there was a 24 over here, I think. Maybe I could put it near the park that I've been building, like the, near the mason or mansion slash park area. But they don't like that. You have to build like a separate park area. They like hop fields though. Here. mind fields and I have parks here. Yeah, maybe this is kind of a good way to hybridize this farm area is like just say, oh, you thought it was a farm, huh? It's actually uh, a spa. Why can't I not put it here? I mean, I don't want to, but why can't I? Actually, just like put it by all these trees. That's good enough, apparently. They love trees and flowers. Yeah, and they don't even mind shamans. This is great. They don't really care. The next, the other ones. Like houses and breweries and city centers and statues, and I have all those right next to each other. Not a lot, but a little. Right? Like a tavern over here? Seems pretty great to me. Uh, let's put in another couple houses first.
kind of depressive in this area, honestly. But I think it's gonna be better than anywhere else. This area is already sort of monopolized. But still, we want to put the, the houses in first. Very small mansion. Yeah, it's a hut. Um, no space for huts here, huh? Flexibility to play with. I forget, why do these guys like it up here so much? They're near this tower, I guess. They build the towers. That makes sense to me. Oh, and someone has to build the towers, right? Why not? Oh, our first temple. It loves statues and masons and plateaus and shamans and mansions. Wow. This likes a lot of things very much. I wonder, I mean, I, I want to see how big an area it covers at the very least. Pretty small. Yeah, it's quite bulky. Hard to fit in and doesn't, like, cover a large area, but you can find anything good to put it next to. Which at the moment I can't. What? Oh, its base score is minus 75, so it has to be next to a lot of these things to be worthwhile. Huh. Well, here I would only lose 5 points. It's a steal. Yeah, I guess we're not putting this down. We didn't plan this whole city around it, did we? So. <laughs> Put it next to the circus? Get some elephants to pray to? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we can hold this in reserve and maybe try to build, like, I don't even know. Well, do I have another statue? No, I put them all down. Man, looking at all these and, like, it covers such a small area. And you have to come up you have to overcome a 75 deficit. Even, like, you need a statue and a couple masons, but masons hate being next to each other, right? Huh. You almost have to prepare for this one by placing down several masons, or whatever, who are next to each other, and they don't like it, but if you place them so that they're all, like, just where the, me the the temple would eventually go down, they can get over their differences. Or maybe a plateau is like a better thing to start with. I don't know. More fishers. Is there? It's gonna be a pretty large area. I could put it like down here, and it would still cover mansions in that area. All right, sure. We want to put the mansions down first, since they have a much smaller radius. Let's build this one like that.
shame these guys aren't getting the benefit of all those parts I built, but they're gonna be happy about the tree anyway. Well, the jewelry's gonna be happy about that. Wall? It loves temples. Markets and jewelries? Weird. I don't know, just give me a plateau. We want to go right here. Yeah, so shaman, for example, is something you could build a temple next to. I would still lose a bunch of points, but not as much as before. Um, and you could like maybe plan, I don't know, by putting some walls around it. I don't, I don't like it because, I, mean, I don't like it as a game mechanic, because this game, it doesn't make it easy to plan ahead, and then these buildings that are like, oh, you need to plan ahead. And it's not difficult in a fun way, where you're like, oh, you know, you have to think things through. It's like, I can't tell if I can legally take this action because the computer's, like, mental resolution is finer than mine is, right? I can't tell how well two buildings will fit next to each other. Water plateau. Ah, so you put it on water and it gives you a buildable area. That's nice. But I'll try walls. Like, you can... Put the, okay, at least for in this case, you can put the temple down and then build walls around it, and then it gets you know advantages. Yeah. Hmm. There's, I can put a plateau in here, but I don't think I can build a temple on a plateau because that middle area is actually. Occupied. So we put it down here, maybe. But they want to be near cities. 
problem is I can't really do that very easily. I guess this is okay. There was a game I played on Android like forever ago. Mega Grid? I don't know. Some sort of like city planning game where there's like a grid of, of spaces and you place down various buildings and they have rules for how they scored nearby buildings. A lot like this, but it was on a on a grid. And I didn't play it all that long, but I don't know. I kind of liked the more close in. It feels a little more tactical when you can plan your actions ahead of time, whereas this, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what it feels like. That's an okay spot. And like, just being near trees is not good enough. Likewise, these houses kind of suck. You can build it off of like these things. Amazing. That's pretty interesting. Sure. Try that guy out. So yeah. Ah. That's cool. Actually, you can build it like almost anywhere. No, it just not on flat ground. But there's a lot of non-flat grounds to work with. So. Um, well, where do I need more space? I can put other stuff on it, right? Somehow? Yeah, like I could put a tower here if I want. I don't really want to. Can I put a plateau on? <laughs> I guess not. Oh, tavern. These people love getting plaster. Circus, really? Uh, thirty six seems pretty okay. Man, I want to live in this city. You got beer and circuses. I 
putting huts like up here. They still seem to like it here. Okay. I won't second guess you. You guys know where those go. Oh, that's the last one I get to pick, huh? Or anyway, there was only one choice, and I assume that means it's the last one. So I can like just build out here? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this house is worth so much. That's what, um, that's what happens when you get, like, uh, is it quadratic, the way houses scale? I think so, because you're adding together something which is growing linearly, right? You're taking a linear series and summing it, and that gets you... Yeah, that's quadratic. Okay. Uh, do you mention this? I mean, obviously, that's an okay spot for better spaces up here with all the parks. Ooh, look at that one. So many parks. Yeah, it still seems like around all the mansions is the place to put my parts. Although I guess there are two. Mm, I should maybe have been putting my mansions down here by the jewelry. I forgot about that. Oh well, parks go up here. Somewhere, right? It's gotta be somewhere good to put parks still. Yeah, there's a 17. building area? Can I like, put stuff in the middle now? It spans across them? I can. Okay, well that's something. Yeah, we, we, we're sort of done getting new buildings. We got them all. Um, ugh. I feel like each level is just taking longer than I really want to play a whole level. But they're kind of like encouraging you to stay and grind until you lose, which is nice. I like it. As, an, as a concept of like Eventually, you run out of ways to make this village better. And then you, like, your score is the total of how many have you done this for. But it just takes so long. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not really, like, thrilled about continuing this. It was fun for a little while, and maybe I'll come back to it sometime. But I think just these, what, three or four episodes? Um, it's probably all I'm going to do on the channel. And we're done with this one. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If, you, if this looked fun for you, you know, go out and get it. It is what it looks like, you know, if you're, if you're into that. And it was fun for a few hours, and it's cheap. So, you know, if you like it, I, I recommend you get it. And if you don't like it, I recommend you don't. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.